Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Lenovo ThinkPad P14S Gen 2. This is a mobile workstation that is light, powerful, and affordable. And the specific unit I have that was sent over by Lenovo for review sports a 14-inch 4K, that is UHD resolution display, IPS panel, Intel's 11th gen, that is Tiger Lake Core i7 1165G7 quad-core CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte uh, SSD, it is an NVMe drive, and then, of course, NVIDIA's Quadro T500 with four gigs of dedicated RAM. So, fairly exciting machine, um, and in terms of pricing, I'm not 100% sure offhand, but generally these are all about affordability. I think when I last looked online, they were all hovering in the, you know, 2000s, which considering what you're getting is pretty impressive because again, this is a mobile workstation. This is not just another Ultrabook. You have a Quadro, so that means if you're doing creative work uh, inside of, I would say, you know, architectural work or uh, if you're doing any sort of uh, photo or video editing, it's nice to have that. Um, presuming that we have a 65 watt uh, type C charger, but let's see before I get to the laptop. And that is exactly what we've got. And it'll be interesting to see what battery life is like on this. And this is really all business folks. This is not about being flashy. This is a ThinkPad in its most pure form, in my opinion, which is for people that want to get things done. And they're not here uh, for any sort of show or uh, they want their ThinkPad. And that's exactly the experience, uh, hopefully, that's gonna come with this brand new offering. Well, almost brand new offering. Let's go ahead and get the plastic off of it. And it looks just like all the other P-Series ThinkPads. But again, really small, which is the novelty of the P14S. And the Gen 2 is just about all about having the new hardware. So before I open this up, let's just take a look at what we have here. Um, so a Type A port right there, Ethernet. You can already see IO is part of the pitch. Um, and then on the left side of the machine is where all of the action is. We have a micro SD card slot, headphone and microphone combo jack, HDMI, another type A port, docking port, which also has a Thunderbolt 4 port, and yet another Thunderbolt 4 port, which is, of course, for charging. So, that's pretty much it. We also have a SIM slot right here, so if you want to have, uh, you know, a wireless connection anywhere and everywhere, you can go that route. And I think that pretty much covers it. Again, this is really, as I've stated, a workstation. And on the bottom, quite a bit of ventilation, but for good reason. I mean, you have a T500 Quadro in there. Uh, you know, it's just, there's a lot going on. So let's see what this looks like in terms of the interior. Of course, it's going to be what you expect when it comes to a ThinkPad uh, keyboard. Has the key travel that ThinkPads are famous for. Let me get this matte display uh, in the shot here. Uh, Windows Hello IR capable camera up at the top with a privacy switch. Uh, dual microphone array there. A little bit of dirt there, I'm gonna blow it off. My review unit, whoever had it last. Just dust this a little bit. And let's see if it powers on. Uh, the fingerprint scanner is still here. It is not built into the power button, which is something that Lenovo has been doing lately. Speaker right here at the top. Uh, we'll see what the audio quality is like. Uh, build quality feels good. You can see it is color calibrated. Again, this is a content creating machine. That's the pitch here. This is a mobile workstation at an affordable price. And I can already tell you the display is really, really nice. Um, sharp color accurate. This is what you want if you're doing content creation. And again, in a fairly small package. I'll be curious to see what the audio performance is like. Glass trackpad feels nice as you knew it would. Um, real dedicated, uh, you know, mouse left and right click buttons. The pointer, if you ever need to go to it. I mean, that's not something I've used in ages and most of you don't, but you never know. Uh, and overall, again, the keyboard is really, I mean, this is the ThinkPad keyboard that everyone covets, which is 
best in the business. I often talk about how much I like HP, but this is the keyboard to beat, and that's why every company I feel like tries to emulate what IBM started and Lenovo carries today with the ThinkPad brand. Um, so this is a pretty sharp machine, fairly powerful. Again, um, we're working with a pretty beefy setup. Uh, and just if I go ahead and check out this PC, oh, excuse me, I'll jump up. You can see we have the one terabyte NVMe. I'm gonna see how it performs. Uh, in terms of upgradability, I believe that is the only thing you're gonna be upgrading if you choose to do so. Um, I'm pretty sure the RAM is soldered here, the 16 gigs. Uh, Wi-Fi 6, of course, Bluetooth 5.2. I mean, this is a really well-rounded machine. What I will say is that when it comes to design language, a ThinkPad is a ThinkPad. Of course, Lenovo is changing that reputation uh, in terms of the design language changing and the Yoga brand becoming really part of the ThinkPad lineup in a way unlike ever before. Uh, we are pretty bezelicious. I mean, maybe not on the sides, but the chin and forehead are fairly thick. But again, we're getting a UHD color accurate and calibrated panel. Uh, it's not an OLED. To me, that's, you know, the, the P line is exactly what it should be, which is mobile workstations. So whether you're going P14, 15, or 17, you know what you're getting into. You know it's going to be built really well. You know it's going to have best in class keyboard, a best in class display. And uh, this is just the smallest way to go. And again, it's nice that it's actually affordable. Uh, when you look at a lot of other uh, Lenovo products, like um, I just recently unboxed, I'm grabbing over here, uh, the X1 Carbon Gen 9. You're spending a lot more for this. And in my opinion, you're getting more here. Now, granted, the Quadro T500, you know, if you want a game or something like that, that's not what a workstation is designed for, is not going to do as well as traditional uh, NVIDIA 30 series GPUs. But if you're in any form, of, if you're in architecture, uh, again, photo, video editing, the Quadro is going to do its work. It's not, it's no slouch, that's for sure. Uh, so uh, it's not like the Quadro, of course, that is in the P17, but the P17 is a beast. It is twice the size of this machine. I mean, it is, it feels like a piece of military equipment. And this does too, but in a much smaller form. So if you are, again, looking for a mobile workstation, I'm going to test this thing out, but I, I'm pretty sure this is going to check your boxes because it's got pretty much everything uh, from build quality, you know, to being able to go the full 180 degrees. I mean, it, it is able to open up completely flat. And for those of you that are addicted to the one-handed opening test, let's go ahead and do that now. It's not gonna happen. So uh, the fetish with that, I am not really sure of, but there are a lot of you that won't buy a laptop unless you can open it with one hand. I'm perfectly fine doing it with two. Of course, we've got the ThinkPad uh, branding with the little red light that lets you know uh, when it's sleeping, it will blink, breathe essentially. And yeah, it's just a really nice machine. Doesn't collect fingerprints, you know, it's matte. Uh, so I like that. And maybe I will end up opening this up, we'll see. But an exciting little workstation that I think is gonna make a lot of users happy that are looking for basically everything they can possibly get at an affordable price that they know is going to meet their business needs. Again, uh, graphic design, architecture, photography, videography. Uh, this is basically what you want at an affordable price uh, that is strictly business. And uh, top to bottom, it is that. And hopefully the performance follows suit, which I think it will considering we know what it has under the hood. But I'll tell you right now, that display is really, really nice, which I knew was gonna be the case because all of their mobile workstations, uh, color accuracy is something that Lenovo is gonna strive for. And then the keyboard, as I stated already at the top and over and over again, is just best in class. It is, it defines expectations uh, when you think of ThinkPad as a brand uh, and also the durability. Of course, there are some derivatives of Lenovo that aren't in that class when they don't generally wear the ThinkPad name. Uh, there are a few, but generally they don't. And they especially aren't part of the P series of workstation laptops. So exciting machine. Excited to test it out. By the way, love the uh, very simple mute uh, light 
to let you know whether or not that LED is there, whether or not you're muted. In the days we live in now in the pandemic, even if you're vaccinated, whatever it may be, I'm not here to get into personal views. Zoom and Skype have become a daily part of life. And it's important to at least have some ability. We don't have a lit uh, muting key for the onboard mics, uh, which are up there surrounding the camera, uh, the webcam, but still nice to have at least a dedicated uh, visual cue for muting the speakers. So I will test it out. I will give all of you an update, but this is again, just an unboxing and first look at the P14S Gen 2. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.